The 2020 nuclear landscape, in the shadow of a pandemic over the past year, new nuclear risks emerged, old risks reappeared, and, although no risks really went away, there were some positive signs. On the new side of the ledger, at the end of last year, the United States began deploying a low-yield nuclear warhead on its ballistic missile submarines. Around the same time, the Russian military put its first avangard hypersonic missiles into service atop modified SS-19 intercontinental ballistic missiles. For its part, North Korea rolled out some new hardware as well, including a massive new intercontinental ballistic missile and a submarine-launched ballistic missile during an October military parade. Old risks came back from the dead, too. Iran's leaders, frustrated by the United States' unilateral withdrawal from the 2015 nuclear agreement and no doubt outraged by multiple assassinations and acts of sabotage, continued to gradually ramp up the country's nuclear enrichment program, exceeding the restrictions imposed by the deal. Separately, the Trump administration reportedly considered carrying out a nuclear test explosion, nearly upending a consensus held by the previous four U.S. presidents that refraining from such testing is in the country's best interests. There were, thankfully, some positive developments. The protests against racial injustice in the United States helped spur the U.S. nuclear community to grapple more deeply with and perhaps begin to rectify its own systemic racism. Later in the year, the Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons received the 50 ratifications needed to enter force in 2021. Although some experts believe the treaty may ultimately prove destabilizing, others welcome it on the grounds that it will continue strengthening the norm against the possession of nuclear weapons and help drive efforts toward eventual disarmament.